Hey guys, welcome back to Top 10 Gaming. I'm Ron McKenzie Lafergy. We just got a new Red Dead 2 trailer, and if you liked the original game as much as I did, you're probably pretty psyched. It was long, it was interesting, and it left quite a bit to the imagination, but there were a few things in there that you may not have noticed, so I'll help you out with that. But this time, not in Top 10 form, because we're changing it up a bit. If you enjoyed this video, let us know by throwing us a thumbs up down below, and if you want more, check out our video about the most inappropriate Pokemon. But before you do that, get ready, it's time for the details you missed in the Red Dead Redemption 2 trailer. First of all, of course, we got to see John Marston, the stoic and ruggedly handsome outlaw turned family man we all knew from the first game, and Undead Nightmare, which was awesome. Until now, fans had only been speculating and assuming that John would be in the new game, but this new trailer has finally confirmed it, thank goodness. And spoilers, you ready? It's from the first game. This is of course a prequel set in 1899, since John died in an epic confrontation at the end of the first game. In the trailer, we see Marston roughed up and held at knife point, presumably by a rival gang. This means it's looking like we'll be learning more about John's departure from Dutch's gang, which is pretty cool. This is something that people had a lot of theories about and was somewhat explained in the first game, but now it looks like we might get to see what happened to him firsthand. Of course, it should be noted that we won't be playing as John, we'll be playing as a different member of the Vanderlyn gang, Arthur Morgan. Marston was only in a short part of the trailer, which means he probably won't be too big a part of the game, but I think we can expect some nice little cameos with him, especially to tell parts of his story that weren't told in the first game. <laughs> It'll be super weird to be talking to the person we played as in the last game, especially knowing his gruesome end, but it'll also be pretty neat, and we're kinda used to it now after GTA 5. But there's one part in particular that a lot of people are most psyched for. If you look closely, you'll see that Marston's face is all slashed up like an animal scratched him, and he's still in stitches. Which means, wait for it, we'll see the origin of the scar! The big ol' scar on his face is a pretty significant, not to mention badass, part of his character, and I'm pumped to see what happened there. But hey, let's not get too distracted by Marston because there are a bunch of other things to talk about about in this trailer. For one, we got to see the updated graphics the game will have. Now, they obviously look really great. I wasn't totally blown away by them or anything. I think the first trailer showed them off a bit better, but the improved graphics will definitely make the game more engaging. We haven't seen a ton of gameplay yet, but certain scenes in the trailer looked like they were about to transition into gameplay, and it looks pretty solid. Of course, we got a glimpse at the atmosphere and setting a bit, which seemed pretty great. I'll definitely miss the dusty desert roads, but a change of scenery can do a man good. Now, I'm a bit concerned that Rockstar won't be able to find that perfect Wild West feel in this new swampier area, but given their track record, I'm willing to keep my hopes up. We also got a good look at Dutch's gang. They were telling stories, and it looks like we'll be getting a more nuanced view of the gang in general. Considering they were meant to be kind of like Robin Hood's merry men, stealing from the rich and giving to the poor, but they often did unsavory things, I can definitely see inner conflict being an interesting part of the game. Finally, the trailer may have confirmed that a previously leaked map may actually be correct. A map was leaked back in 2016, which first surfaced on NeoGAF, claiming to be the map from the new Red Dead game. In the trailer, there's a sign pointing to Ansberg Mine, and the map has a location called Ansberg, which seems too perfect to be coincidence. Plus, the mountains and swamps we've seen in the trailers thus far seem to match up with the map as well. So, if you're looking to get a head start on your Red Dead 2 play, check out that map. Unless it's just a trick on Rockstar's part, in which case, they got me. That's it for today. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please smack that thumbs up button and subscribe to Top 10 Gaming for more videos. Let me know in the comments what you think about this game and what you think about us changing things up a bit and including non Top 10 videos. Also, check out our recently uploaded playlist for more videos like this one. Until next time, I'm Ron McKenzie Lafergie with Top 10 Gaming. Later, gamers.